it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks. And it's coming up next. With Mount Rainier in the distance, there are few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one. And we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. In motion, Hollins. Allen going to go to the air right away. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. It's zone defense right away here defensively. And I know that these linebackers and DBs are going to be tested throughout. They passed the first test, though. This one falls incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board, and they're able to avoid that three and out. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Tyrell Dotson there on the tackle. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. So the shotgun snap to Allen. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
And the Seahawks are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The Seahawks set to go on offense here, and it is the pro bowler Geno Smith at quarterback Charles in his 12th NFL season. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability, and good play that allows him to compete with any team on any given week. The real question is whether or not he can become a championship caliber quarterback. Only time will tell, but for now, he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe they can certainly get the job done. After the interception, here's Smith. He'll find Metcalf, and he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And defense is going to games against Seattle, understanding that DK Metcalf is someone who presents a lot of problems for them with his blend of size, speed, and physicality, and he picks up another first down there. Big play guy, topped a thousand yard mark in each of the previous two seasons. If he keeps making plays like that, we know he's got a good shot to make it three straight by the end of this season. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Sticking with Walker on second down. Room here to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And if that run looks familiar to you by Walker, it should. You saw it at Wake Forest, at Michigan State, and in the NFL here with Seattle. A nice start to his career, totaling a little over 2,400 yards from scrimmage and 18 touchdowns in his first two seasons. Here's a diving catch right side. And the Seahawks are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Walker going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Again, Walker. And that play's not going to get him in as he stopped right at about the line of scrimmage. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Geno Smith keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Seahawks take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, this is where it pays to have a quarterback you can trust with the ball in his hands. Normally, you want him throwing or at least trying to make this an option. But here, this is a straight run, a QB draw, and he reads things perfectly and takes it into the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. For the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. In motion, Hollins. Allen off the play fake. And he'll get this one to Cooper complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll take this one down near the 15. A tackle made by Boye Mafe. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now second and nine. Now Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Allen going to throw. Touchdown, Bills! James Cook from four yards out. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So the drive there took six plays. And it was James Cook finishing things off with a touchdown catch. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Here's second and ten. Sticking with Walker on second down. The 20! And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, that maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now Smith on third and goal. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Myers' kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. 
To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Hallett. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing now is Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And again, it's Allen. And he's got his man on the out route. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Allen. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. In motion, Hollins to throw. It's Allen. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Amari Cooper, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, They'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Bass on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That time, a six-play drive. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Back out now comes Kenneth Walker and the Seattle offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Now Smith. Yeah, he's got Smith and Jigba. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Gino. 
And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Smith. And this all oh, incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 26. Third quarter begins with a run by Walker. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 31, here's second and five. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Throwing now is Gino. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. That's Dorian Williams who got there for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Smith. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. 
And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. So the completion good for seven there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. From the gun on third down, Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 40. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And this one is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Again, Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Geno out a throw. This one goes underneath to Walker. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll toss this out right to Walker. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. To throw is Smith. And he is caught. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Now it's Smith. And Walker with it over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. A shotgun snap for Smith. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now Myers for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. 
That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's Allen to throw it. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Allen now looks to throw. Has his man. It's Shakir. And he's brought down. The Bills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Allen to throw once more. And this is Cook with a grab. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Allen. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Allen going to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, 
letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 30 yards. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that will make this a four-point game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And out now come the Seahawks. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This complete to lock it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Up the middle, here's Walker. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run again with Walker. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Here now, third down. Smith's going to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Smith. Out right to Smith and Jigba. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's second and a yard. Smith to throw. 
Going right back to Smith and Jigba. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first down. Smith. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Smith now to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Here we go, first and goal. Smith. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point up and through by Myers. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bills offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. This is first and ten. Allen. That's caught by Shakir. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. To throw is Allen. Wide open, Amari Cooper. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. 
Here comes second down. Now Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Here's first and 10. Now it's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. So it's the Seahawks who are going to get the first crack at things. They'll possess it to start things off here in overtime. And able to get this out to the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Gino steps away. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First throw here in overtime for Smith. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Straight ahead, Walker. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Coming up on a third and nine. Opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. Geno to out of throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. The temptation to go for it, probably there, always is, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. And this will be taken at the 13. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. That last pass puts him over 300 yards now in the game. More importantly, though, big first down here in OT. And the team around him has a lot of confidence now after picking up that first down. Everyone seems a little more energized. But did I hear you before the game call in and say, this is my quarterback for your fantasy <laughs> league? Because he just gave you a good stat, didn't he? He did, and I appreciate it. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. To the air, Allen. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Here's Allen to throw it. Finding Shakir across the formation. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. 
You told me before it's tough to identify how to block a 3-4 defense. There wasn't a whole lot of blocking there. And one other thing an offensive line coach told me, if you want to run wide against a 3-4, which is difficult to do because of the speed of the outside linebackers, it's often difficult for your offensive linemen to hit targets in space and create lanes for your guys to run through. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Throwing is Allen. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 14. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. So it's a win here for the Bills. And this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, he really had this offense firing on all cylinders. So let's count up some of the numbers. He went for well over 300 yards in the air, had four touchdown passes, and was clearly prepared for this one and executed the game plan to perfection. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Seattle, so long, everybody.